Hi, thank you for joining today's Lunch and Learn covering an overview of Innovonics products. I'm Rita Shromick, the Southeast Sales Manager for Innovonics. I handle the Carolinas, Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, Mississippi, and Puerto Rico. Grab your lunch and let's get started. Innovonics is based on EchoStream technology. It's life safety, commercial grade RF technology. It's 900 megahertz, which means long range in business and industrial sites. Frequency hopping spread spectrum means RF interference avoidance. We have a very small data payload, which in turn means increased receiver sensitivity. Low current draw gives us an extended battery life. We're built for purpose, not IT managed. Repeaters have a built-in backup battery. We fully integrate with any platform. We have a full selection of transmitters and proven performance. We've been around since the mid 80s. This is a diagram comparing narrow band to spread spectrum technology. Innovonics is based on spread spectrum. We utilize the channels between 902 and 928. We utilize almost every one of those channels when alarm signal is sent. In narrow band, they have one channel that they send their signal on. So if that signal gets blocked, you're not going to get the uh, you're not going to get uh, the result. And if it's if there's a few channels blocked in the spread spectrum, that's usually not a problem because there's so much redundancy that there are always some getting through. Where Innovonics excels, adding to existing existing systems is a very simple is very simple for Innovonics. Uh, mobile applications, dynamic floor plans, or think of uh, retail stores that change on seasonally or museums. You can add different types of monitoring, environmental or equipment monitoring. We can bypass firewalls very easily. Historical buildings, we can preserve their architecture. High ceilings, you don't need a lift. Faster installs, we have cleaner installs versus pulling wire, and we're better bid accuracy, both time and cost. We're easier and faster for job changes or additions. Some popular applications include panic, intrusion, equipment monitoring, roof hatches, environmental alarm triggering, perimeter security, gate operation, and door release. Now these aren't all of them, these are just some of the popular ones. There's many, many more applications. How do you connect any head in to our network? Well, Innovonics is used, first of all and foremost, with intrusion panels and access panels. But did you know you can also do a door release? You can connect to a remote gate. You can have an audible alarm, a strobe, even building management systems all can connect with Innovonics. And how do we do that? Through our receivers. Our add-on receivers have outputs that are connected to the zone inputs of your panel. So this is intrusion, access, or a local enunciation. Serial receivers have a direct connection to popular control panels that we partnered with. Our universal receivers come in three different uh, versions. They all have Form C relays. They connect to any platform. We have four, five, and 11 alarm outputs on each one of them. And we have fault outputs for supervision. Receivers allow wireless endpoints to emulate the hardwire points. These are our three add-on receivers. We have the EN4204R that allows for four transmitters or repeaters to connect to it. It has four relay alarm outputs and one fault output. The EN4216MR has 16 inputs for transmitters and repeaters, but has five relays. So keep in mind, if you have 16 inputs, you're gonna have to piggyback them on the five relays. It also includes one out fault output. Our largest add-on receiver is the 4232MR. You can put up to 32 transmitters or repeaters on this unit. Um, however, it has 11 relays. So if you need point-to-point -point ID, you're going to have 11 
If you are able to piggyback those, you can put 32 on. Again, this one has one fault relay as well. Our panel interfaces are a serial connection to specific panel partners that we've developed a gateway for. For example, the Vista. Now these panel interfaces usually allow you to add more endpoints and you get point ID with them. For example, the Vista 128 allows for 127 wireless points and repeaters to be added to it. We also have partnered with the Bosch. We have an interface for the Bosch D and B series panels, Chubb, Edwards, ICT, Interlogix, Johnson Controls, Paycom, and Sonitrol. Moving on to our repeater, our wireless repeater number is the EN5040-T. There's no home run wiring required for this product. There's multiple repeaters that you can use in a campus or high rise application to form a fully supervised wireless security network. Some of the features include scaling your job size, small, medium, large, or X large. It has power loss detection, a built in 24 hour backup battery, a power adapter is included. It's UL listed and fully supervised. And we typically think of repeaters as extending the range, but you can also take a repeater to get around objects. As this bank diagram shows, the first transmitter has a clean shot right over to the receiver, but the second one is blocked by the ATM machine. You can remedy this by adding a repeater on the opposite wall and bank that shot in. And here's what it would look like, the complete uh, over overlay of that repeater system. We have a variety of different pendant transmitters and what I usually tell people is it depends what your customer is looking for. If they want a waterproof, if they want a smaller one, if they want a larger one, if it's somebody in a heavy commercial environment that's going to put a pendant in their pocket and they're going to be knocking against a table or, or equipment, they're going to need a little heavier duty. So you really want to interview your customers and find out what they need. We have belt clip, necklace, wristband, or fixed location options available. They're all so fully supervised. They're sold with the battery and they're available in two or single button versions. Our water resistant pendant is the EN1223D. This comes in the double button, which is a dark gray version and a single button, which is a putty colored. The single button is going to be the EN1223S and the D designates the means a double button. We have our belt clip fixed um, uh, belt clip and fixed mount transmitter. The EN1235D is a double button, has a heavy duty belt clip on it. You can remove that with a screw if it gets uh, broken, you can re replace that. <clears throat> the EN1235DF is going to be the double button fixed position uh, holdup style and that F designates it as a fixed position. Now that does come with a back tamper, so you can put it on a wall or any hard surface. Um, it, the EN1235S or the single button also comes with uh, the fixed option. It's an SF. And at this point, I'd like to point out that the UL listing is available on both of these 1235 models um, in the fixed version. And UL re requires that we have a back tamper for UL listing. We have two lanyard style pendants. They're in white or a putty colored, the EN1233D and the EN1233S. And we have multiple condition pendants. So we have the EN1224 or the EN1224-ON. Those are four button multi-condition belt clip pendants. We have the EN1238D, which is a double button dual condition belt clip pendant. And we have the 1236D, which is 
a double button, but it's three condition belt clip pendant transmitter. Now I will add here that each one of these requires a multi-function capable receiver to hear their both, uh, to hear the multiple signals. Universal transmitter family, the EN1210 is probably our most popular product. You can connect that to almost any sensor and make it wireless. If you have frayed lines, um, snip the lines and connect it, connect it and make it wireless. We have the EN1210 EOL is the single input universal end of line protection. And the EN1210W is the window door transmitter. It has a read switch and magnet. Now to make it a little bit easier, I tell people the W stands for with read switch magnet. The EN1215 EOL is the UL listed single input and the EN1215W EOL is the single input universal transmitter with end of line protection. Now if you notice the two on the right are both UL listed and that's because they require the UL um, screw through the housing, a latching housing, and a back tamper, which are all included. If you have a UL listed job, you want to make sure you take one of the EN1215s. We have dual input universal transmitters. The EN1212 is just your basic. The EN1216 is a uni, uh, UL listed dual input transmitter with wall tamper. In our high power universal transmitters, the EN1252. That actually has four times the range of our standard transmitters. Um, it monitors two circuits with discrete alarm signals, and it's really good for outbuildings or endpoints across an area that are not controlled by the end user. Uh, you, any place where you can't get a repeater in, this is a great option. Uh, if you need the the distance and you don't have any power for a repeater, the 1252 is a, is a good solution. We have a few different motion sensors. The EN 1260 is a wall mount motion detector. It has a 50 foot coverage area. It is It does have an optional long range lens that will shoot down a hallway. It's a 99 foot lens that you can get for it. The EN 1262 motion detector has pet immunity. It has a 40 foot coverage area, but it's more for a low traffic area. So think about uh, an empty building or a warehouse where you might have birds or maybe rodents around. Uh, this is a good solution for that. For high traffic, I suggest the EN 1261 HT. It's our high traffic four element motion detector. It has 50 foot coverage area. It has a long battery life. It's tested for a four year battery life um, in high traffic situations. And last, we have our 360 ceiling mount motion detector. It's the EN1265. It has a 12 foot mounting height. It has a 65 foot coverage area and the optional high ceiling lens um, for 25 feet you can also purchase. <coughs> Our specialty transmitters include the EN1249 build trap transmitter. It has an optional 10 second delay to reduce false alarms. It is UL listed and the receiver can be connected to an alarm input of a camera that is um, looking at the cash handling position. It can be connected to a DVR to set to record or a tilt. It's up to your customer. The EN1247 glass break detector is the Interlogix acoustic glass break detector and has a 20 foot radius. <clears throat> we also have a water detector. It's the EN1751. Measurements taken every five minutes. It has automatic restoral, a 60 minute check-in, and you will get a low battery or tamper if the sensor is disconnected. Now we do have two sensors you can connect to it. The Honeywell FP280, it detects a quarter inch non-distilled water and the Flare 1010-H20S36-EN1751 -E detects 3 16 uh, non-distilled water. Now neither of these will work with the frozen water or ice and they are sold separately. We have a wireless temperature alarm, the EN1752. 
it, the alarm set points are programmable. If you look to the right of the screen, there's a little snapshot of the, U, uh, the PC application. You connect the USB cable and it allows you to change the high and low thresholds, the supervision, the measurement and the units temperature. So it's, it's programmable to what your customer is gonna need. It has an onboard sensor or you can optionally purchase a Honeywell T280R external probe for external environments. Fire products, the EH4104R is a single zone RF wire fire receiver. It's for use with the EH1115 end of line transmitter uh, shown below. You can monitor water flow and pressure in piping and post indicator valves. The LED will show you the current status and it's UL864 listed. It has case tamper, jam detection, and internal antennas. And the matching EH1115 EOL transmitter has a 2.21 resistor. It also is UL864 listed and has a screen closure housing and wall tamper. So this is how your, uh, your fire system would look set up. The activation of fire devices connected to a transmitter will send a message to the receiver. The receivers connected, your, to, connected to your fire alarm control panel. And this, uh, the wireless transmitter will monitor not normally open contact switches from fire devices like a PIV, water flow, pull stations, outside stem and yolk, etc. Optex is one of our very close partners. They have great products. They have photo beams <clears throat> and outdoor motion and indoor motion detectors. Now these products are all manufactured by Optex, but they include the Innovonics inside. So we have the wireless built inside of their product. They're manufactured and supported by Optex. So if you need to get in contact with your rep for Optex, please email me and I'll be happy to share that information with you. Or you can go on their website, www.optexamerica.com. One of the things that makes Innovonics stand apart from our competition is the fact that we have a survey kit. The survey kit is the EN4016SK. You can survey any facility. Now you wanna do this before you go and install. You don't wanna have your tech go and install a system and find out you need a repeater after the fact. So this is your responsibility to check it out. If you need one, um, please contact me. If you wanna get one for your office, you can also order them. It's the EN4016SK is the receiver you'll be able to show your customers exactly what the signal strength is. You can determine the best location for transmitters and receivers. It'll show you extensive data on the, on the transmitter and repeater links. It'll show you exactly how strong that signal is. The receiver is battery operated. There's a little door on the back. You pop it open and place in four AA batteries. And it does require one of two uh, trigger transmitters, the EN 1223SK pendant or the EN1210SK universal transmitter. Those are purchased separately and those depend on what job you have. If you have a duress application, you're gonna to wanna to get the panic button size. And if you have any other uh, type of application, you'll wanna get the universal transmitter. We also have a mini survey kit, it's the EN7017. Now this is a nice little kit. It fits in a carrying case. It's a handheld receiver, a transmitter, a USB charging cable, and there's some install literature in there. And you go on to Google Play or Apple App Store, you download the Innovonic survey kit program on your phone and you're good to go. You will need to take that receiver and charge it the night before so it's fully charged when you go to your customers and you're off to the races. On your phone, it'll show red if you need a repeater and anything in the green is you're good. So it's very easy to use 
and you can always call our tech services if you need help with that. I just want to mention we have several um, value added partners that have taken Innovonics and embedded them in their system somehow. And these applica uh, applications include acute care, courthouses, perimeter monitoring, school safety, access control platform integration, and endpoint integration. Now this is something you can find either by contacting me or on our website, this list. If you ever have any questions of whether Innovonics can help you or not, just give me a call and I will, if we can't do it, I will tell you, but more than likely there'll be some other partner that can help you. So please give me a call. We have an outstanding website with all these tools for our customers. We have data sheets, white papers, dealer drawings, installation instructions, um, training video library. We have weekly trainings. We have a weekly cup on Tuesdays at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time where we cover a different topic and it might actually inspire some ideas, some new applications for you to try and present to your customers. So I encourage you to, to check out our website and register for one of those um, online meetings. Just to summarize what I've covered, uh, Innovonix has superior wireless performance. Uh, we save time on installations. We can help preserve your original architecture. We eliminate costly trenching and overhead lifts and outdoor wiring. We integrate with any security system. You can add us to any current system already in place. So if you have somebody that needs um, a panic system or duress system, it's very easy to add. And that's it. Thank you for joining me today. If you need help, please email me at rita at innovonics.com or you can call 800-782-2709. Thank you and have a great day.